Jackie and Christine believe that the malevolent spirit has affected the cameras, a spirit they continue to track to the master bedroom. It feels stronger in here. Very much stronger in here. Oh my God. What? Feel that. Just here. Chris, here, just here. The rescue medium sense that this is an incredibly powerful spirit. And oh God. I heard a sigh then as well. I didn't take a breath as yeah. well, like, like that. Frustration, yeah. Jackie and Christine prepare to focus their energies. I've just got a, an image now of farmland. Good. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm joking. Christine is made ill by the spirit. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to be sick. Do you want to stop? No. No, no. And now it quickly moves to Jackie. Is he with you? Yeah. We can't breathe. Is that him? I can't. Okay. I'm going to ask him to stand back. Okay. I need him to stand back. I just need my heart to stop. Okay. Beat him like take this. Some light, take some breath. I need him. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright. Got some water. Yeah, can, can we just break him on it? Okay. Who is this malevolent spirit? Very, very strong. And what will this dark force reveal to the homeowners? Have you ever lost a child to spirit? In Ontario, Canada lies the city of Guelph. Here, a modern building has some very ancient visitors. A young family are being haunted by what seems to be a highly malevolent ghost. Worse still, the spirit activity is centered around the two young children in the house. The rescue mediums have answered the call to investigate. Jackie Dennison and Christine Hamlet are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights shepherding wayward spirits. Given no prior knowledge of their destination, Jackie and Christine are armed only with their psychic tools. In a bid to unearth the truth behind the hauntings, the rescue mediums met the homeowners, Chris and Amanda, and their two children, Alana and Zachary, for the very first time. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> oh my God. Already they've encountered a powerful spirit that has momentarily overtaken Jackie. Oh God. <sighs> And as he came close, I felt so faint, as though I was just going to pass out, lightheaded, and right. I, I just. So we can't communicate with him that way, then. He's very strong, Chris. Yeah. Very, very strong. So we're going to have to figure out some other way. The rescue mediums believe the power of this spirit will require Chris and Amanda's assistance to show him into what is known as the light a sort of psychic doorway. We're going to fill each room individually with light. So we're going to seal each room, each of your children's rooms, and you're going to help us to do that, if you will. Absolutely. The cleansing ritual begins. So I want you to imagine that this pure white light right through this room, from the floor to the ceiling, we're going to take it right around the door onto the doorway and we're going to seal the doorway with pure white light. Each room is cleansed with sage, pushing the spirit out and sealing them off. We seal this room with love and light to keep these children safe day and night 
Let the angels guard every door and hold the light here forevermore. So mote it be. 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 Only the master bedroom is left, and it's here where the rescue mediums will face the dark force. I don't turn this light. Okay, we need to do this with the energy with all of us. Okay. We're going to ask him now to step into the circle of light, this pure white light that's running between this circle of light will not be broken. We're going to ask him to come and stand in this centre and we will help him to go through. I have the tunnel. You've got the tunnel. It's a swirling tunnel. Amanda, what are you seeing? Go. A huge light. Yeah, that's it. Huge that is good. the light. Good. That is great, the light. Great under Jackie's arm. Okay. Yeah. It's almost Focus. Yeah. Focus on that light. That's the one. Keep focusing on that light. That's great. Right? It's really good. Christine's going to get him to walk towards that beautiful light, totally protecting every one of us. Unexpectedly, a young spirit emerges. I can see uh, a child with him at the moment. Mm -hmm. A girl. Yes. Ponytails. Yeah. The child walks towards the male spirit. Let's let's go now. Let's take yeah, them. We in. need to take them through now, right through. Get hold of his hand, and he's going to go through, totally through to the other side with them. Excellent. He's okay now. We know. Yes. Well, good. Yeah. Yes. Good. Seal the doorway. Seal the tunnel. Yes. We'll seal yeah. it. Seal it now. Seal it. Seal it so that you know that he can't come back. The spirit has crossed over. Yet the rescue mediums have one last question for Amanda and Chris. Um, have you ever lost a child to spirit? Yes, we do. Okay. So she is very well protected. Yeah? You okay? Come on. Okay. Aww. So this is family. Christine and Jackie believe that the unexpected spirit was Chris and Amanda's lost child. Okay. Okay. Yeah? We lost it just before we had Lana. Okay, well that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So she just comes to visit? She comes to play. Oh, yeah, they do. They yes. Do. Okay. We didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. We lost it halfway through the pregnancy. Little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got another daughter. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Right, let's go and put that kettle on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please. Come on. <laughs> okay.